Leroy's Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough, Part 78. Well, that's the last time you'll ever hear me say that, because this is the last episode in the Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough. Um, beaten the Elite Four, caught in all the legendaries. So, we got one last video to wrap things up. And, um, we're actually gonna go on the SS title, and Captain Stern will tell you that they finally finished everything, so we can go on the cruise, because we got our ticket from beating the Elite Four, so... That's what we're gonna do, have some fun on there, check out a few things, and then wrap things up, so... Um, you can go to Lily Cove or the Battle Tower, you can actually go back and forth between Lily Cove and Slateport. And if you do that, you can actually go on the boat, kind of like you do in the SSN and Pokemon Red and Blue. Um, and then you can just, you know, check out all the cabins. Your cabin is cabin number two. And you can fight some trainers and stuff. So let's go ahead and put Goron up in the front, I think. And that's who we'll use to battle. And yeah, there's actually a double battle right off the bat. So yeah, let's go with this and battle these people. The lovey dovey powers. Lovey dovey duo power. Young couple Leah and Jed. Oh, love discs. This ought to be good. Oh, can't believe we made it out alive. I tell you, those love discs, they're nasty. No, I'm just kidding. We destroyed them. Oh, but anyways, right here is our cabin, cabin number two. So we'll skip that and head into cabin number three. Numero tres, because I speak Spanish. And here's a dude. Ah, you've come just in time. I'm bored, you see. You may entertain me. Child molester! Yeah, that will do. Don't get any crazy ideas. I didn't do anything. Anywho, let's put up Tree Ninja, just because we're coming up to the last couple battles here in the walkthrough, so we might as well finish things off with the Pokemon we started things off with. And... Actually, I don't want to fight you. I'm kind of trying to fit everything in here, make sure I don't go over the time limit, so that's why I'm cutting out some of these battles. Um... Yeah, it's not like these battles are hard anyways. I'm pretty sure if you've beaten the Elite Four, you can beat these people. And guys, look who it is! It's Mr. Briny, and he's the honorary captain of the SS title, so now he's Captain Briny. And I always like this part of the game because, you know, you start off in the game and you see him in his little house with his Pico and his little boat. And, you know, then at the end, he's the captain of the SS title, which is pretty cool. And then there's this guy hunched over a trash can, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh huh, I'm not acting suspicious. Oh, you can have this for free. So, uh, oh, he didn't snatch it from someone. He'd never do such a thing. And then he gives you the TM for snatch, which is, um, a dark type move. And I always thought snatch snatched the opponent's item, but it actually snatches their move, then you get to use it, so, I don't know, I've never been a big fan of the move. But apparently he snatched the TM from someone. Oh, isn't that crazy? Snatch the snatch. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, down here you're gonna see some sailors walking around. And there's some empty trash cans, and I'm gonna accidentally walk right in front of this guy and have to battle him. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Alright, so Tree Ninja's up to level 40. Um, now, there's one cool item you can get down here, which is actually very useful, especially if you're gonna go on to the Battle Tower after the game. And that is the Leftovers, which you can find in this trash can here, so make sure you grab that when you come on to the SS title. Um... I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, it's empty. But if you attach that to your Pokemon, every turn it will restore a little bit of HP, like 1 16th. So it's really nice if you have Pokemon with really high hit points, because you can restore a lot of health. And let's see, I'm actually not going to cut out this battle, because this is going to be the last battle we have in the walkthrough. Um, yeah, this is going to be the last guy I fight on the SS title, so we're going to finish it off using our Tree Ninja. And we got a Tentacruel, and hey, what do you know, we got a Tentacruel on our team too, so... Let's use Sunny Day, because, you know, apparently we can bring out the sun in the basement of a ship. Yeah, doesn't that make sense? Um, but, yeah, we're getting acid squirted into our eyes. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and use Solar Beam and knock this thing out in a couple of hits. Now I gotta say, Tree Ninja... You know, a lot of people were kind of iffy on whether or not Tree Ninja would be any good, because everyone hates the Grass Starter, especially in this game. And everyone loves Torchic and Mudkip, but I gotta say, you know, Tree Ninja definitely proved some people wrong, because he proved to be a good choice, I'd say. And I've always liked Skeptile, just because it was the first Pokemon, the first time I played through Pokemon Sapphire, that's the Pokemon that I chose. So, you know, I've always liked using it, even though, um, the other ones are a bit easier to use in the game. You can definitely still make good use of, uh, 
Skeptile. <laughs> I forgot the name for... Like, oh, I forgot my own Pokemon's name. That's great. Um, let's go ahead and use Solar Beam on this Machoke. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I always found it funny how Machop, when it evolves into Machoke, it all of a sudden just has, like, underwear on. Like, where does it come from? Who knows? Um, but anyways, we defeated Sailor Philip, and that's it! Our last battle in Pokemon Sapphire. So we are undefeated! We never lost a single battle the whole entire game. That's right, who would have thought some little ten-year-old kid would start his Pokemon adventure and never lose to anybody. So anyways, you can go ahead back to your room, and when you sleep in the bed, um, you will arrive at your destination. So we're back here in Lily Cove City. And then you can go back and forth Lily Cove and Slateport, fighting the trainers. Fun times, right? So... Oh, and one thing that's kind of funny, see how there's the ship? The ship's here in Lily Cove City. She's there at the green hair, the ship's there. Then if you fly back to Slateport... Now this is like the end of the game, it's like one last chance for Nintendo's crazy, you know, you know how nothing makes sense in these games. There's like one last chance that they could possibly have something that makes sense. If the ship isn't here, it's like, it's in Lily Cove City, but now it's back in Slateport, like what the heck, why does it follow you around? What if there's someone in Lily Cove that wants to get on the ship? Oh, too bad, it's just gonna follow my player around all day. But yeah, it's like, they got, they got one last chance to have the game finally make sense, but they just blow it. And the ship just reappears back to where you are, but whatever. Now we're gonna check out the Battle Tower, because that's the other place you can go on the SS title. Another thing you can only do after the game, now a lot of people are really into the Battle Tower, they love going and, you know, fighting all the trainers, because it's so much fun, you know, I don't know. I've never been a huge fan of the Battle Tower. Basically, you choose three Pokemon from your team. You can do the level 50 challenge or the level 100 challenge. And then you just fight really good trainers over and over and you can get prizes if you go on long winning streaks. Um, you know, I don't I don't know. I've never... I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I like doing the Battle Tower, but I, I'm just not in love with it like some people. And I didn't cover it in the Leaf Green walkthrough. I'm not going to in this walkthrough either just because... I don't know, it's kind of hard, I mean, with gym fights, you know, it's different because you're going to fight the same people, but in the Battle Tower, it's like, you have three Pokemon, and it's kind of, it's kind of like, based on, like, it's hard to give advice when you only have three Pokemon, because it's like, if you, if you give advice on a gym leader, it's kind of easy, because you have a whole team, but when you're limited to three, it's like, you kind of have to use your own strategy, so, I don't know, it's just kind of difficult to do a walkthrough for, but whatever, I mean, you guys aren't missing out on much, because, you know, you've already beaten the game and stuff, but it's just an extra fun challenge to do. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I didn't want to cover the Battle Tower. So anyways, yeah, you might be wondering where I'm going now, or maybe you're still complaining and typing an angry message like, WHY ISN'T LUROY DOING THE BATTLE TOWER? I don't know, either way, um, I'm gonna tell you, we are going to this one route that I haven't been to in the game yet. Yeah, that's right, there's one route that I skipped over. I don't know why I skipped over it. I had no intention of doing so, but I was really looking forward to, you know, going on to the next city in the game that I was just like, I'll come back here later. And every time I'm just like, yeah, I'll come back, I'll come back. And every video someone's like, when are you going to go to this route? And we're finally doing it right here, Route 123. Um, you don't have to come here to beat the game, but there's some trainers you can fight, a couple items you can grab, um, some like Elixir and Calcium, like just stuff like that. And actually, wait, the main item that's over here is the TM, which is this girl right here. She will give you the move Giga Drain. Now, Giga Drain is an interesting grass type move. It does some damage, then you restore half of it, just like Absorb and Mega Drain. But I've never liked it, because Giga Drain really isn't all that powerful, and it only gets five power points in this game. It really needs more power points than five, which they fix later on, but I don't know. I think it should get like 20, but I don't know. Or they should just make it more powerful, but... Anyways, yeah, that's the route. You can go through it, then you go over to this place where there's, like, a whole farm of berries, basically. Then there's, like, a house. There's nothing really in there, but, I mean, it's just an extra little part of the game. You can grab that TM and get some berries. If you're a berry lover, you should go through that route and get some stuff. Because it's fun, and... Why is there a red... S oh, it's the battle tower. I'm like, what is that red square doing over there? But anyways, guys, we're going to go back to Little Root Town, because that's where we started the game, and that's where we're going to end the game, so... It doesn't feel like it was that long ago we started, and we saw all these guys, and we're just like, Dude, where do you live? You do not have a house, you just walk around all day. And this little boy... <laughs> Are you gonna catch Pokemon? Good luck! It's like, dude, I already beat the Elite Four. Anyways, once again, we're going to ignore our mother completely and go upstairs, because we have a room and she doesn't. Um, oh, let's, let's actually watch the TV, because I think it's about us. Oh yeah, that's right, it's the Name Raider dude, and he's like, let's talk about... Uh, the awesome nickname of Leroy's Pokemon, Aviator. Then he goes on, he's like, this nickname is a very fine nickname. 
I'm intrigued about the blah blah blah. I don't know, I clicked too fast. You ever do that? You're trying to read, then you just click too fast, and you completely screwed up. Well, anyways, yeah, they talk about your great nickname on TV, which is kind of funny. But anyways, I don't know why I went in my bed, but let's review our team here. We got Skeptile. Like I said before, a lot of people doubted uh, Tree Ninja's abilities, but I think it definitely proved that it's a great starter, and it can definitely be used very well in the game. So, great job, Tree Ninja. You're a great help from the beginning of the game to the end. And here's Aviator. Aviator gave us a lot of trouble as a Swablu. We needed to put the experience share on it, like half the game. We even put him in the daycare, but in the end, definitely pulled through for us. Great Pokemon in the Elite Four. Sing never missed once in the Elite Four, which is amazing. So, gotta give you props for that. Great job, Aviator. Um, nice Pokemon for my team. And Hariyama. Hariyama was great from start to end. Um, always had really awesome attack stats. Always had really good moves. Just never once regretted adding it to my team. Um, definitely a great Pokemon. Bulk up, Brick Break. I mean, just learned some great moves. Definitely an awesome Pokemon. And Jelly Belly. Uh, I like Jelly Belly a lot because a lot of people gave me crap for using a Tentacool. Even though I said over and over, like, guys, trust me, Jelly Belly's awesome. But some people didn't believe me, but definitely proved in the end that Tentacruel is a great Pokemon to use. Um, Super Sonic was a big help in the Elite Four. Just great Pokemon overall. Helped me out a ton in the game. And Gardevoir. Well, Gar. Why am I skipping Gardevoir? Yeah, Gardevoir was the second Pokemon I caught. For some reason, it's a male, even though it looks nothing like a male, but... Um, yeah, everyone kept reminding me, Athena is a girl's name, but... Overall, it was a great Pokemon. The Calm Mind helped a ton. Psychic is very powerful. Great Pokemon. And Tambora, last but not least, our Fire and Ground Volcano Camel thing. Um, what can I say? Your Overheat was pretty much my most powerful move I had on my whole team, and definitely a big help. Couldn't have beaten the game without you, Tambora. So there's our team right there, guys. One last look at it. Definitely a great team. One of my favorite uh, teams from any walkthrough by far, because I, I just loved every single one of these guys. Um, so yeah, I couldn't even pick a favorite like I have been able to in other walkthroughs, because I like them all a lot. And there's my trainer card one last time. 17 hours and 41 minutes of pure epicness. Um, we have over $100,000 now, and we're still 10-year-olds, apparently. Um, there's our Hall of Fame time again, and guys... We got about a minute to go here. I just gotta say, I i mean, I, I it's just cheesy because I do it at the end of every walkthrough, but seriously, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. You know, this walkthrough um, definitely had its ups and downs with, like, uploading consistency. A lot of crap was going on in my life, um, you know, towards the end of last year and just throughout. It, it's, it's, it was tar I went through some tough times in this walkthrough. It's not stuff that you guys know about, but... I just gotta say, you guys just, when I go on and see messages just from you guys just saying like how much you enjoy my stuff, really just motivates me to keep going and really you guys keep me going through a lot in my life so I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are just completely awesome and you know, I couldn't have done anything without you because you guys motivate me so much to do so much work. I mean, I wasn't even going to make this video tonight until I went on my channel and some guy was like, literally should make a video, that would make my day. And I was just like, you know what, I am going to make a video. So you know, this is all for you guys, you guys keep me going through the whole thing. And there's a lot of great stuff coming up with my channel that you guys are really going to enjoy. And I just got to say, I appreciate everything you guys do so much. Every view, every comment, every rate, it's all awesome. So for one last time, we're going to save up the game. And I will see you all next time.